Are you struggling with emotional eating and looking for ways to overcome it and lose fat for good? If so, you're not alone. Many people struggle with emotional eating and it can be very challenging to overcome. But don't worry because I'm going to give you a few strategies that may be super helpful for you. So first and foremost, try to identify the triggers that lead you to emotionally eat. This could be stress, boredom, negative emotions. But once you know what triggers your emotional eating, you can work on finding alternatives to cope with those triggers. It's also important to find other ways to cope with those negative emotions. This could mean exercise, working out, talking to a friend, a therapist, or even finding a different hobby that you enjoy that you can kind of direct your attention to. Next thing is you got to practice mindful eating. This means actually paying attention to your food. Rather than just mindlessly watching TV or scrolling on TikTok, this can help you become more aware of your hunger and fullness cues, making it easier to stop eating once you're satisfied. Another tip is to kind of plan ahead. If you know that you're prone to emotional eating, try to have healthy snacks on hand so you have something to turn to instead of just junk foods. Getting enough sleep is also critical. Lack of sleep can lead to cravings for unhealthy foods. So make sure you're getting enough rest. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Talk to a friend, a family member, a therapist about emotional eating. They can provide you with encouragement and support as you work on making these changes. Remember, overcoming emotional eating is just a process and it takes time to find the strategies that will work for you. Be patient with yourself and don't get discouraged if you have setbacks. With time and effort, you'll learn to manage all your emotional eating and make progress towards your goal. And if you want to learn exactly how to build the perfect diet for you, just grab my blueprint diet book below and it'll help walk you through all that. I'll catch you on the next one.